again. We're just gonna we're gonna throw just some drinking water on the fire. In the fire so you don't ever throw water on. But either way, Tom is gonna show you the actual correct way to, to deal with a chip hand fire or an oil fire. Yeah. The first thing he's going to do is test the fire blanket and he's going to make sure he has an escape route. That if, if the fire gets out of hand or he just feed it with safety, he's going to fall down and he's going to leave and get out, stay out and get the fire out. So what he's doing, he's going to approach the, the pan. You can see Tommy to take small steps. But the last thing he wants to do is rush into the, into the area and potentially trip. His hands go into the pot and again you just spill the the oil, at this stage the oil is burning. So you see him there in the time he just walked up nice and safe and he just placed it over, he's taking the oxygen away from the fire. Just plain and simple bottle of drinking water. And this is the reaction you get if you try to use water on an oil fire. Again, it's great to see out here a big fireball just disappear. But imagine that in your kitchen. You get that big fireball. And again, here it's great to dissipate with the big fireball. And you get up, you can all feel the heat, can't you? But what happens at home is it goes it it blows out, hits the ceiling, comes across the ceiling, right. and actually comes down on your back. Now, we can safely normally just take it back off now. 